Hello and welcome to a quick guide Final Cut Express video tutorial. Hopefully you've had the opportunity to explore either Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro on one or perhaps more than one video project. What we're going to do in this video tutorial is just look at a color correction tool which may help you on this current project or perhaps future projects. All we're going to be doing is improving the quality of the image in regard to color and I'd like to point out that I am not a color expert and quite often a production company may sometimes give this work to a different company that specializes in improving the color of a particular image but we don't have that opportunity in the classroom and so we need to be able to explore all of this all of the tools available on Final Cut so looking at two clips I'm just going to show you Clip one, or my opening clip in my project, I'm pretty happy with. Um, you can see it's a little bit brighter on the left-hand side than the right-hand side. Perhaps the sun was out on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, it's just a little bit darker. My last clip, my closing clip, there is a distinct contrast between the opening clip. It's darker. More importantly, it looks a little bit more cooler. Perhaps the white balance wasn't set as good as it could have been. Perhaps the cloud went in as well. Now, there's two reasons for that. One, yes, the cloud went in. The color conditions changed during the recording. And also, that shows that this was a different take to the first clip, which was the first take, and I think this was actually the third or fourth take. So what my objective here is right now is to use a color correction tool to try and get this closing clip to look a little bit similar to the first clip. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the clip and then double click it to make sure it appears in my viewer. Now you can see that there is a tab here called Color Corrector. Now that tab is unlikely to be showing on the clip the first time you go and look at this clip. Because what you need to do is you need to go up into Effects, you need to go to Video Filters, select Color Correction, then select Color Corrector and you can see the color correction tool tab. Now as you can see an additional tab is just shown there which we don't need so I'm just going to push command Z and get rid of that. But that is the process that you would go through to get the color corrector tab to show up on your particular clip. So now I'm going to click on the color corrector tab and what we're going to do is we're going to play around with this image. Now please notice Despite the fact I highlighted it, I've also placed my marker over this clip, which is important because I'm working on this clip. It's not going to benefit me if my marker's over here because then I can't see the changes that are happening to my clip. So I've put the marker over the clip of the clip that I am editing or improving. So one of the first things we said was the fact that this image is perhaps a little bit cool. So what I'm going to do is take this image and I'm just going to play around with the balance and we can see that the balance is more towards the blue so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it into a little bit more of the warmer color side of the circle and see if that improves the color which it looks like it's done the other thing we've discussed was the fact that it looked a little bit darker i.e it was perhaps underexposed. So what I'm going to try and do is we're just going to play around with these lines down here. I'm just going to try and push the saturation up a little bit and see if we can improve that coloring. So I think I'm pretty much done with that clip. Now what you can see is most of the time when you've either generated something new or played around with your clip, you're going to have this big red line at the top. That just means that it needs to now be rendered. So I'm going to highlight my click, and for a shortcut, I'm going to push Command R, and you'll see that it's now rendering that image. So once that image is rendered, hopefully it's a little bit more similar to my opening image, and there's less of a contrast, and we're achieving continuity, which is that it looks like it's all continuous. So there's the image. Compare it to the first clip, it's improved. It's not perfect, but it now looks better than it was before. And that was my objective. 
Now I can spend more time playing around with the color corrector trying to see if I can pr improve it even more but I am going to take advantage about the fact that this clip doesn't immediately follow that clip and so it's unlikely that anyone is really going to spot the difference between this clip and that clip. 